Hi, this is John Zombro with the Lifetime Athlete and coach of the Training Tribe. T2 is our online group training and coaching platform. We're a team and we pursue peak performance. If you're not yet a member of the team and you're interested, please check out Training Tribe at thelifetimeathlete.com. Okay, this is member programming for the week of March 22nd, 2021. So this is the culmination of the second uh, month in our strength-oriented training block. And we've been using some very elaborate training splits and lots of technology. So uh, my hat's off to you guys for um, mastering all of the many concepts which we've done and also that we've gone over in some of our master class meetings. This week, we're in our deload, so we're reducing overall volume and intensity. And the main place that we're making the change is again in the primary uh, component of each session. So the A1, A2, B1, and B2 workouts this week will emphasize only the second of the major compound lifts that we've used. So in your uh, workout A1, uh, you're going to do the front foot elevated split squat only, and you're going to take it down to three sets of 10 repetitions, each set performed with light weight, and you'll emphasize technique. And that's going to be consistent throughout these modifications, also for A2, B1, and B2. Three sets of 10, light weight, technique emphasis. So that's a bit of a change up. When you go to uh, a2, which is the second lower body session, <clears throat> now you're going to use your loaded step-up exercise onto a box or a bench, and again doing uh, each set entirely <clears throat> Excuse me, on one leg before going to the other. For B1 in the upper body, only utilizing the overhead press exercise, you can use any implement you want, such as barbell, dumbbell, or sandbag, but just the OHP. And then finally, uh, in workout B2, which is our second upper body session, we're going to go with the pull-ups, but I'm going to encourage everyone to do them entirely with assist, whether that's a foot assist or a band assist, or even use a pull-down machine if you have it available, so we can really work on technique and also give the shoulders and elbows a break from all that strenuous loading which we have been doing. There will be essentially no change in workout C1, which is our cardio session that has uh, box breathing and uh, very easy effort within it. Uh, however, uh, workout C2, we're changing it up. The prep is going to be a hot bath. The main component is a nature walk of any distance or time that you desire. And you're going to follow it up with a nap. And I, all I can say is, great job. You've earned that because you've worked so hard. So those are the changes that we're making this week in uh, our T2 workouts and also we're also changing up the master class schedule so now we're uh, having two master class workouts per week where we discuss and refine uh, technique and concepts in health and performance as well as do a bonus workout which oftentimes includes components of the uh, training content for the week as well as extra things so that's going to be the Wednesday win workout uh, Wednesdays at 11 Mountain Daylight Time, and we also have a weekend session, uh, which is now the Sunday Success Workout, kind of a brunch-focused uh, uh, endeavor, which begins at 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. So those are all the changes for this week, guys. I hope you enjoy uh, what we're doing and uh, get ready for <clears throat> more and more of our programming to be going outside and uh, see if you can recruit some more members of your team to join you and have great success and fun. Till next time, this is Coach Jay-Z signing off from the Lifetime Athlete and the Training Tribe.